Hello all you creative people out there, Kevin from CC Pipe here, once again where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. Today's topic is going to be making carousels using Adobe InDesign. Now, I haven't researched this or anything, but I get the feeling that it isn't the most common tool for making carousels. Using InDesign daily though, I personally love it and I thought I'd show you how I use it and why I think it's great for this. To start us off, carousels, for those of you who didn't already know that, are basically slideshows, be it for Instagram posts or website headers, etc. But today I'll be focusing on making them for Instagram. When I started my channel, I wanted to make sure that my workflow was as optimized as possible so that I could easily maintain it while still working full time. I have a set InDesign template for my Instagram carousels and it allows me to create content really quickly as well as easily. And uh, as always, setting up a good template might take some extra time, but it will pay off rather quickly. Enough talk though, and let's get into Adobe InDesign. So this is the template that I start with, and I'll start off directly within my opinion, the best part of working this way. As you can see, I have my pages set up next to each other as a spread, and this allows me to design across the scenes and it makes it all seamless when exported as individual pieces for Instagram. Let me show you how to set this up. Here we have a similar document to the previous one, but without the master pages set up. So there's basically two ways to set up your pages like this um, that I know of anyway. The most straightforward way is to just drag out a few pages here and uh, then place them next to each other in the pages panel. Although as you can see, it doesn't seem to work. And that's because there is an option that we have to toggle to allow this. So we go to the options for the pages panel and uh, toggle this. Allow document pages to shuffle. Now when we try, uh, you can see that we can drag them next to each other and easily create a carousel spread with as many pages as we want. The downside of doing it like this, as you will see, is that we can't work with our master pages in the same way. If I go into the master now and add something, let's just write a number here. Now we can see that it appears on all five of the pages. Maybe that's what you want, but if not, it's better to set up the spread in the master instead. To do that, we can start with cleaning this up a bit. I'll just take these away. And uh, now we go to the pages panel. We select our master and choose master options. Here we can set number of pages. Let's just go with five again. We press okay. And now we have a similar result as before. The difference though is that now we can work on individual pages in the master. I'll just show you. I'll write in some uh, more numbers, just something simple to make my point. We can go and write in uh, one. I'll just duplicate these and then just write this in two, three, four, five. And we also need to drag out the new spread for this new master, of course. And there we have it. Now we can utilize the master fully. If we go back to my template now, you can see that I've taken this even further in the master pages and I have a base, which all the rest are based on, and it has the guides. Then I have three looks to alternate between. Uh, if I want to change it, I'll just apply a different master, something like this. Uh, just let me drag these out. Just switch up some character styles with um, this one and uh, maybe this one. And now we have a different look. In the master, I also have these graphics stretched across multiple pages. And I know that when I export it, it will be seamless. In a second, I'll also show you how to export this. There's obviously a lot more here, but most of it is specific to my particular use case. This is my final document for this video. And now let's export this. We can go to File and Export. I go Control E and we can save it, let's say here. I usually add a underscore here at the end and you'll see why in a second. We choose JPEG and of course save it. We want all pages, and this is the important part. We want export as pages, not spread. Then the rest is fine by me, and we just press export. Now, if we go to bridge and find our files, let's see, yeah, and there we have it. Also, this is why I added the underscore, and now we just add the one to the first image, and we have a nice sequence naming going on as well. And that's basically it. This is how I make my Instagram carousels. Hope you got something useful out of it. Let me know in the comments and also let me know if you'd like to see a full breakdown of how I make a full project, including both YouTube and Instagram. As usual, thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time. 
have a good one.